I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay Free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, I got beef with the feds in the Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A no. uh, <coughs> Yeah, Cass, you're doing the end game, right? Yes, sir And we still got a whole battery Look at this, look at here Look at God Look at God, you ready for it? Uh, book at the book at the bow, 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 bow. Oh, Temp having a baby. Well, he's having a Is boy. It? He's having a boy. Mm. So, uh, so his wife. Mm. Yeah, these are like the you know the what, what pictures is it? Uh, what do they call it? Maternity. The maternity pictures. Yeah. He's <laughs> like, yo, make sure you get my twelves. The the, the the military boot twelve. But yeah, let's get it. Right. Yeah. You already know what it's hitting for if you didn't know it's your man by the fly. I tell your mama I said hi, I got my guy with me. Show Thomas P and nobody that knows bodies. Bow! Yeah, 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 man. Shout out to all the subscribers out there. It's that notification gang. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You stay in tune with all the latest content. You know what I'm saying? Clip, we bow and hit shit, we bow. Uh -huh. So, um, end game, Vulpen. Before up, we get man? into all of that, make sure y'all stream at least a good 40 minutes of when you start rapping like that. I, I just wanted to throw that plug in there. My best friend, right. okay, got an album out right now. And if you haven't heard it, mm. you need to be listening to it. You heard it in the intro. Mm. Y'all been asking the whole time, what's that in the intro? Now you can listen to it. That's a fact. Let's go ahead, man. Just all right, so let's get to it, man. Shout out to, and first of all, like I said, shout out to everybody who has. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I can't thank you enough and I can't thank you as much. I'm gonna continue to thank you because, you know, Without y'all, there's no us. <laughs> it's just for it's just it is what it is. Um, so let's get to it, man. Bullpen, end game card is coming up. You know what I'm saying? It's um, <laughs> it's this weekend. This weekend, <laughs> I was the one that put that in the rotation because you, first of all, hold on, let me let me let me Go ahead. let me get to it, man. So I was blogging the other day, uh -huh. and I and I said I was talking about the Cassidy shit because that he Cassidy hadn't done the face off. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And first of all, let me just tell you all the battles. Uh, Bad News versus Rex, John John versus Cassidy, Clone versus Tay Rock, Shea Rack versus Jazz the Rapper, Loso versus Sirius Jones, Reggie P versus Danny Myers. Pretty dope card, you know what I'm saying? But let me get to it, right? Mm -hmm. So, I was talking about Cassidy because the rumblings had came out. That's the one good thing, like, in battle rap, they be wanting to get the stories to you and shit. You ain't gotta talk to the person, uh -uh. but you could talk to somebody that knows somebody and they'll just, they'll tell you every fucking thing, right? So, I'm hearing that Cass wasn't doing the face off. Buy it, not, not buy it, but I couldn't really rock with it because I was like, yo, you got a big battle with John John coming up and y'all both live in Atlanta. Now, if one lived in like North Carolina, the other one lived in Florida or in Texas or something, mm -hmm. you know, schedules, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. When you live in the same city, I could like meet up on a Tuesday and get that done, you know what I mean? But anyway, Cass had his reason that he did he and, and John John did tweet that face offs are still happening, but at the end of the day for a battle like him versus Cass, you needed that out there already. You know what I'm saying? That, like, that was needed to be, to be out, out a month ago. Like, yeah, a month, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like you you gotta have that in the air because you see that the one with him and Hitman did three million views. You know what, what I'm saying? Itself. It's in the bag. Like the it's face in the, off better than the, the, the battle. Better than the battle. You, know <laughs> you needed that moment with him. You know what I'm saying? You needed Cass to tell, "What did you do to earn this?" Like you know what I'm saying? You needed him to do that. But you know, I'm hearing that John John is focused on the battle. His birthday was today. Happy birthday! Oh yeah, happy birthday! Yeah, yeah. So I mean, he's focused on the battle. Whatever the case may be, I get it. But the thing is, ah, even in boxing, man, uh -huh. the fighters could be focused on the match. That promo was that still gotta show something. They gotta show for that, that, that way. That's their way. Like it has to happen. Gotta you know do what I'm saying. Like that face to face. It has to happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'd have been out. Yeah, John John should have started a little, little, little web series online, just going around looking for I'd have been doing where is Cassidy? Yeah, yeah where is Cassidy? Driving around looking for this motherfucker. You better drive around with a camera crew looking mm -hmm. for him, trying to find him. But you know, uh, Cass is gonna basically do. He wants to me in this. You know what I'm saying? This is really before we can get into this card. Mm -hmm. He wants to pull a battle rapper, right? Because you know what battle rappers do. They just show up, rap, and leave. 
he wants to pull a battle rapper, but he's getting paid more than everybody probably on the card. Like, it, it, I feel like with an increased level of pay uh -huh. uh, and getting and et cetera, uh -huh. it comes a certain level of responsibility with you would that, you think know what I'm saying? That. You would think that your responsibility is not to just show up, battle, and leave. A nigga on this card like Danny Myers can show up, battle, and leave. A nigga like Sirius Jones, no disrespect to anybody, could show up, battle, and leave. He usually does. You know what I'm saying? That's what he do. <laughs> Clone could show up, battle, and leave, even though he's gonna promote. Yeah. Shay Rag, show up, battle, leave. Yep. Loso, show up, battle, leave. Uh, it's damn near every single person on this card Cass. besides Cass. you and Cass could show up, battle and leave and it's not going to take away anything nope. but you have a large fan base number one uh -huh. you have uh uh you know you're battling on this platform and they're trying to make money you know what i'm saying they're not out here spend. i'm sure they're not here trying to dish out a bunch of money i'm not we not even going to be there you know what i'm saying we told it wasn't long because you know they probably didn't tap the fucking card out paying him. Paying that nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like he's not even gonna promote. I'm promoting, and he won't even post the flyer. John, John. Okay. So when you get some money next time, you know what? Nope. I don't even want to talk about nope. it. Let's move on. Nope. So he's not even fucking promoting the shit, right? Yeah. He don't even give a fuck. I mean, none of them is. None of them really. Are. I'm doing more than the fucking card is. Yeah. But <laughs> anyway. Rock had a battle. That makes sense. Rock I, I understand why he wouldn't be doing it, but he's you know. not. Um, Jazz been jelly. Jazz just battled a couple. Uh, Jazz battled not too long. She ago. battled Rock. Yep. She battled Rock. Mm -hmm. Shay Wright battled like a couple weeks ago. Yes. Danny Myers battles every fucking yeah, day. Yeah, he battled, yeah, probably. Uh, he's Clone probably. battled last week. Last week. Oh, Rock yeah. battled last week, both days uh -huh. last week. Yeah. Everybody on the, damn near, that's the thing about battle rap right yeah. now. Now, yeah, that's the same question he was about to ask, too. And the answer is yes. I am tired of this shit. Like, for real. I done said this before, and I'm going to say it again. Right. Why can't y'all leagues just get in a group chat and just say which dates y'all are doing shit? Why can't y'all just do that? I understand y'all don't like each other personally, all that. But you're killing the fans. You, you're killing us. How do you think I feel shelling out 35 to 60 to $75 mm -hmm. once a week? And it's to sit there and waste my time. It is torture. I would rather take my children to Chuck E. Cheese and have them ask me millions of times to refill this damn card. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have be asked for V-Bucks and Roblox bucks or whatever else have you. And they would give me more excitement or more reaction or it would make me feel better knowing I paid for something. Right. And I got, it, I got out of it. So stop it with the weekly shit. And, oh, not even weekly, stop it with the everyday stuff, because last week alone, it was the Battle Academy, then we had to watch DNA join, that was the next day. And then Clone had his joint. Was Clone, that, that, that Clone events. was having it at the same time. Three events in the same weekend. Um, now, let's get to this, man. Yeah. Alright, so, what's your thoughts, man? Alright, so Cass doesn't do the face-off, let's just get to the actual battle, man. And listen, dog. the energy, dog. it's like this, and everybody here to see me, dog. It's me, I'm the reason, so if I don't say it's a face-off, dog, then it's no face-off. But I'm going to show up, I'm going to do what I do, you know, when it comes the night before. I'm going to get there the night before, you know what I'm saying? Producer passed away, I had to go and handle the family situation, but I'm back. The energy is back, right? When the battle? It's Saturday. Shit, alright. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess uh, we'll do the, we'll the, the, the face-off Friday night. And I guess drop the face off Saturday morning. That doesn't make any sense here, people. The battle yeah. better at this point. If there is no face off, Cash, you better be having some shit. Like you better, you better have, you better have some heat that makes somebody go, "Yo, this nigga Cash, you need to be better than what you did with Hitman." Because I don't know why, but people are like really debating if you beat Hitman or not. Right. You lost. I don't, I, I, I'm one of them cats that is from the city, and I don't think that Cassidy won any battle since he's been back, other than the disaster battle. Mm. So, who I got winning this battle? I have John John the Don, because he's also been coined as the legend killer. That's what I called him, because he battled Sirius Jones. He done beat him, Mr. Fab. Mm. He done beat a uh, Jay Mills. He done beat all of the other legends or so-called legends that are out there. Why not have Cassidy as your end game? I mean, it makes sense. You were big, you know, being a fan of it. I usually don't like going up against the city, but for this, <laughs> Cash, you got your own fan base, and I'm going to go with John John 2-1. Yeah, I mean, I still do have John John winning the battle. 
Um, I, I've always felt like, you know, when it comes to everything that John John does to me personally, that's weird. Everything that John John does in battle rap, Paul, you know what I'm saying? No diddy. <laughs> everything that John John does in battle rap, mm. you know what I mean? It, he has a way of doing better lyrically, bar wise, than everybody that Cassidy's battled already. He's a better lyricist than um, Goods. He's a better lyricist than Hitman. You know what I'm saying? Bar for bar, he's better. Yeah. Like, come on, lyrically, Angle. like pen wise, performance obviously, and star Angle. power and tangible. Yeah. Put him over those. Yeah, yeah. Put them over him. Uh -huh. Arsenal at his best was better than John John, but is Arsenal better than John John now? No, he's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, now, today? No. Like, if we had to go, like, the next five battles, who would be better in five? Who would you be picking? I'm picking John John. Exactly. Because in five, he might not lose one. You know, especially this year. Seen, you know what I'm saying? I have seen him battle somebody. He's not going to lose often. Three you know days prep. Yeah. Only time he's lost or get into, like, tougher situations is when the star power of the opponent goes this way, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And he doesn't normally battle those guys that are like way up here mm. in star power, you know what I'm saying? As far as it being um, battling like a murder move would have been a guy with star power like that. A mm. guy like Cassidy is up there. The Luxes, the Hitmans, like he battled Hitman way early in his career, but mm. Hitman wasn't Hitman when he battled Hitman, no. you understand what I'm saying? Well, not like this. Not like now. Like yeah, you know but, yeah. like it was, it was, but he was talking about it, it, it was pre out though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Yeah. He became a different monster, yeah. you know what I mean? But uh so basically what I'm saying is I think that uh, you know, as far as uh Cass, you know, what what are we gonna do here? Like, like, like well, he's saying it's gonna be the best version, but he says every time he comes out it's gonna yeah. be the best version. You know what I'm saying? Now like, to be fair, he has had he has been a better version of mm -hmm. his last performance. Yes. But yeah, I, I I don't I think that both of them are uh, the both of their weaknesses is is what their strengths are supposed to be. Mm -hmm. uh, the for John 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 John's a heavy angler. He's very angle based and he's very schemey based. Mm -hmm. What is out there about Cassidy that we don't already know, or you know what I'm saying? Like, is it something like is it, like for Cassidy to be out there is kind of public knowledge, right? Because mm -hmm. he's he is up there in the in the industry status, right? Not up there in the echelon, but right. he's famous, okay. right? When it comes to Cassidy, Cassidy, who's always been a punchliner and a heavy punchliner and a back-to-back -back punchliner, he just hasn't had any relevancy or or he hasn't sounded up to date. Okay. So you're gonna sound outdated to John John the Don, who's going to be able to get around that. Mm -hmm. So if John John stay plays to Cassidy's role, where if he tries to punch back to back to back to back, it's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. Whereas Cassidy tries to do an angle on John John, it's not gonna work. Mm -hmm. Cause Oh, what's the angles you hear about John John? Whatever, yeah. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? It's something that's already been said before. So what, Cass gonna be like, I heard something that you do. No. Right. No. So, I got John John pretty clear. Just, I'm not gonna All right, Bad News vs. T-Rex. I did feel like Bad News vs. T-Rex is a definitely an in-game theme battle because a dude like Bad News has been pretty consistent, you know what I'm saying, throughout the last couple years, you know what I mean? Like, every time I see him, he's bringing his A game or damn near close to it. He don't really lose a lot of battles, you know what I'm saying? He He's mid, trying to, you know, trying to get to that next level, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. trying to continue to level up. But to see him as one of the bigger battles on this car, pretty dope battling Rex, who's been really consistent the last 12 months, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Rex, in his last couple battles, even whether people feel like he won, whatever the case may be, he's been really delivering. You know yeah. what I'm saying? His last battle with Chilla Jones, a battle that people that really feel that like he wasn't going to win coming in, mm -hmm. he clearly won. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He didn't just win, he over won. You yeah. know what I mean? He did his thing. Uh -huh. And the chess battle, did really good in the chess battle too. You know what I'm saying? Like, Rex has been putting in work this year. You know what I mean? So, uh, bad news, very consistent. Uh, the one good thing about Rex so far, he's very uh, transparent. Like, he can go to different states, different cities, different leagues, and translate everywhere. He like as long as there's gangsters in the building, I feel right at so home. Right at home. He said it himself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So for a guy like Rex to be this far in his career, to be able to kind of reinvigorate himself, turn himself, you know what I'm saying, get his career back in line, mm -hmm. he's been taking good battles. You know what I'm saying? And he's been doing his thing or winning. 
going into a battle with bad news, I felt like this is a battle that definitely, if you want to do a face-off for any of them guys who be in town, I'll take a face-off for them too the night before. That. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. I, I just felt like a Cassidy face-off should have happened a month yeah, ago, yeah, but I will right. take a bad news versus Rex face-off because yeah. Rex going to be like, yo, you was you was in Dot Mob. Who was your who was the who was the leader of Dot Mob? This is a this is a this is an end game battle for bad news. Who you I, got winning? Not going. Uh who you got winning? Oh, you I don't winning. pick against all of them. I don't pick against New York. You know that. Not nothing like this. Rex, two one, what's up? Look, man. I'ma say this. Bad news has always been a student to the game. I I, I definitely agree uh that bad news has been on a tear and he's gotten better he's just uh -huh. from once from when we saw him when he was starting in bullpen uh yeah when he was just coming up on bullpen couldn't stand bad news didn't think mm. he was that good but bad news always makes a good fight mm. he always ends up making these battles nice and he it, it ain't like bad news be getting washed it's like yo that was a fight and if i'm lucky or if i pick the right amount of if you say the right thing or say it the right way Bad news could have edged this battle. There's one thing uh, that uh, that I uh, I remember running into bad news, and I was like, yo, you know what I don't really like? I don't like it when you don't finish the bar. Like I don't like that. Yeah. I saw him uh, uh, another time, and he finished all his round. He finished mm -hmm. all of it. So then when I saw him again, I was like, yo, I appreciate you finishing them bars. He said, he said, I appreciate you giving me that feedback. He said, you know what I hate now? What you hate? I hate when niggas don't finish their bars. I was like, you see what I'm talking about here? So he's listening now. I, now. Is that a little bit of a personal vendetta? Right. Not towards Rex. No, I don't hate Rex. I think Rex is fire. I always thought Rex was nice. But I was always on the opposite side of Rex in most of Rex's battles because right. usually the person that Rex is battling, I would prefer that other person. Does mm -hmm. that mean that I hate Rex? Mm -hmm. No, it just means my personal preference just ain't Rex. Right. And in this situation, I would like to say that Bad News is at home. He ain't too far from North Carolina, but when I say he at home, he on bullpen. This is his league. This is his time. This is this co-main event. And usually when it's time for him to do the co-main event, he delivers. Right. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with bad news on this one, man. I gotta go with bad news. Mm -hmm. Two one. But I won't be surprised if Rex ends up edging his back. Hey, I'm gonna go with uh, I, like I said, I went with I went with Rex, you know what I'm saying? Rex yeah, has been hot. Win, I think. Yeah, Rex has been hot. I'm gonna use Rex, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go with Rex. Uh clone versus rock. Uh, uh you know, they both just battled last weekend. Yeah. So what's up? One battle every. So what's up? One one battled on his own league, and it was versus Charlie Clips, and then he spins right back around and has to battle Tay Rock. The other one battled uh, Reed Dollars, caught a thirty in the city, and went home safe. Probably because you know he in the areas. But when you, when you see these two guys go up against each other, the one thing that I want and expect only, I want y'all to punch each other's heads off. This is going to be my sleeper battle of the night, if it ain't already going to be considered the battle of the night. Um, the reason why I say that, Clone is at home as well. Tay Rock goes home wherever he's at, and Rock is always has been 100%. If he gives us the same 100% Rock that he gave us against Reed Dollars, mm -hmm. Clone is in trouble. The issue has been lately that Tay Rock been cutting the work. Right. He been doing some bars and having some bars that it's rockish, but if he'd have had some more time, he'd have thought about it a little bit better. Right. I think Clone is also in that same problem too. But when it comes to the level of pressure, I think Tay Rock is going to be able to handle this situation. Two one, but I expect Clone to make Clone to make this a fight. Yeah, um, I mean Rock is like really, you know, what I'm saying really consistently been showing up in a lot of these battles. Um, I probably would have went 2-1 clone if he didn't battle last week, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really think that should have too much on him, but Rock's been doing it consistently mm -hmm. for, you know, a little minute now. So I'm going to go with our Rock 2-1, you know what I'm saying, on my bet. Uh, Shea Rap versus Jazz Rap, Jazz Rap 3-0, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to say, uh, did I mention that Jazz the Rapper is the greatest? Yeah. When I said that? I don't think I said it in this video though. Yeah, I saw Shay Rack versus Jerry West, and that just got me Jazz Rap three. Yeah, know. man, and and look, and not to mention Jazz just beat Tay Rock. So, you think she about to let up on Shay Sh Sh Rack? No. No. So I'm gonna go with that. <laughs> uh, Loso versus Sirius Jones. What up, man? This one is gonna be a toss up. Um. Mainly because do you recall you remember how Sirius Jones pulled up yeah, to the man. To Sirius the, Jones two one man <laughs> really you wanna go Sirius <laughs> Jones two one I gotta go Sirius man look I I I 
Law of Average says that Loso is going to get one clip, and mm -hmm. I feel like look, this is the one that Loso is going to get. Mm -hmm. Um, he may he may or may not lay too heavy on the on the on the on the God and Jesus angle, yeah. but he is it is a good opponent to have it against because you're going up against Sirius Jones, mm -hmm. who literally came. Like he, I don't know, I don't know when, but he's been a devout Muslim. But remember, he was garbed up versus John John, mm -hmm. so he might do the same thing. And Loso is going to have to use a different angle. Only thing that I would say, as far as uh, a word of advice series, hey, if you keep it as relevant, if you stay right in that pocket where you was with John John, but get, make sure that it is carefully crafted towards Loso. Mm -hmm. Man, we got a good battle here. I'm, but I'm still going to go Loso two one. Mm -hmm. You got who you got? I got uh, Sirius Jones 2-1. Okay. Uh, I do feel like Sirius Jones, in his last couple joints, you know what I'm saying, he stepped it up. Mm -hmm. uh, he brings fire material. And that battle with John John, man, that was a really good battle, man. Like, he brought it, he brought war to John John. Man. Man. Like, even if you got John John winning, that was a really good battle. It, it, I, uh, that thing was fire. To be fair, Sirius Jones had a lot of readjustments to make. And you could tell in the first and the second round, Sirius Jones had those adjustments for John John. But that third round, all of that was for real. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 and, uh, and I'm good, but I just feel like, you know, he's stepping it up. Loso's pretty good, too, and could win this battle. It's on bullpen, so we'll see how that goes. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Reggie P versus Danny Myers. Uh, Reggie P won for even having the battle because Danny Myers, like, is opening up cards and shit. Like, I don't know what's going on with him, so Reggie P won in that regard, but uh, Danny Myers will probably win the battle. What's up? Um, I'm, 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 <sighs> I'm gonna I'm I'm go with Danny Myers mm -hmm. um, with the win um, because I feel like Danny Myers is the better rapper. Mm -hmm. um, the bar wise is gonna be there, but I, you know, what's wild. We had a whole conversation about Tay Rock having so many opponents in one year mm -hmm. and and you know and uh, having the eligibility of winning the battle of the year when Danny's been doing this every year. Mm -hmm. What is the difference between the two? Is the likability. Mm. Danny, in this battle, you are maybe you're gonna be the fan favorite because you're going up against Reggie P who is the lower tier mm -hmm. bull. You know what I'm saying? Like it, what what else can you say for Danny other than you better win? Because if you don't win, I'm a fire roast your yeah. camera, bro. You know that's gonna happen, Danny. And you be watching. Mm -hmm. So you know what the deal be. So I don't know what parallel universe you wanted to tap into, but you, the reality is you wanted to smoke Reggie P just to get, you know, you got to knock out one of these niggas on these blocks for real. But overall, I get a card. The On on paper, the card is about eight. The card is about an eight, eight, nine. It has the possibility of going up to a 10. If every battle and everybody's clean and there's no chokes and no stumbles and nothing like that, and we get a really, really good Cassidy, you know how I feel about main events, got a main event. Mm -hmm. This has the potential of being the battle, of, of having the battle event of the year. Has the potential. It's a low ceiling, but yeah, it has potential the potential. potential. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you already know what it is, man. Shout out to every single one of y'all. It's your man by the fly, my boy Showtime SP. Grah, grah, grah. Boom! Cop that tape. Uh, cop that goddamn tape. Because uh, uh, if you cop that tape, guess what comes next? Uh, I'm motivated. I solemnly swear, it ain't a part of me fair This the first pick of the draft, it's my lottery year The dough stacking it quick, the chrome packed in the clip Bitch, I'm still pulling up with the boat matching the whip Long live Nick, he got clapped in a Hummer Then I went to job course, said I'll be back in the summer The very next week, I lost three of my men's Still had a baby face, can I see you again? Okay, free low, he ran a million dollar trap spot When the feds came, they found a stove and a laptop It's the V-A-D-A, -A. I got beef with the feds in the D Desperado style gun in the briefcase And the fans been asking my release date Never took a week break V-A-D-A -A. I got beef with the fans in the D-A